Good food is supposed to nourish the soul as well as the body, but the Fox 5 I team says an Atlanta social media influencer who touts his cooking skills have left behind a mess of complaints. That's right. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis spent time investigating a man who goes down by the name Darius Cooks. You've been hearing a lot about this guy, Randy. That's right, Courtney. Yeah, his real name, though, is Darius Williams. His re restaurants in Atlanta are now closed. His credit repair business now shut down. But it's how he treats his online critics through a practice called doxing that may have you questioning his recipe for success. It's four hours before dinner at this rented house in Collier Hills. And the Fox 5 I team is a surprise addition to the menu for a host who clearly does not want to be on TV. What are you trying to tell me? Had the cameraman leave? Okay, go stand down there. So why are you putting the names of your critics and their personal information online? You don't see that? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen the actual clips. Let me talk to them. Let me call my lawyer. Yes, please call someone. Help us understand why you're doing this on your social media pages to people who complain about you. We got her kids on there as well. Kids information. I put it on my Instagram. And it has been a living nightmare. A self-taught cook, Darius Williams has built an impressive online presence, not just through his website, Darius Cooks TV, where he sells cookbooks and cookware mixed in with his cooking videos, but also on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, where he claims 1.5 million followers. He also sells seats for seven course meals called Dining with Darius, like the one we visited, held in various cities across the country. Williams often goes live multiple times a day to talk about food and sometimes brag about background checks followers send him about his critics. I can tell you who got the, um, the speeding ticket. I can tell you who moved from what state to what state. Just three years ago, Georgia authorities shut down Williams' illegal credit repair business, including a $145,000 settlement. And in early 2020, before COVID, Williams suddenly closed his Atlanta restaurants focusing instead on his online TV career, while also developing a side dish called doxing. Sadly, the ingredients for doxing are easy to find. Take a heaping cup of private or identifying information about someone, sprinkle some malicious intent, throw it on the internet, and watch how hot it burns. Remember those products William sells on his website? The Better Business Bureau gives his company an F rating because customers complain they never got what they ordered. I started to notice a pattern of people coming on his live and asking about refunds. It also bothered Danielle Holland that Williams would publicly blast some of those unhappy customers, posting their contact information like this woman, making fun of her, then sharing her brother's phone number when he tried to privately intervene. In our story, we are blurring what Darius did not. So he doesn't like criticism. He doesn't no. like criticism. He doesn't like to be questioned. The Detroit mom started anonymously retweeting some of the complaints she saw. Then one day, she looked at Darius's Twitter page. I'm scrolling, and, and the next thing I know, I see a picture of me. I see a picture of my children and my husband. It was almost kind of like, literally, like an out-of-body experience. They filed a police report and shut down their social media accounts but their children's photos are still on Darius's page. Randy, I'll be honest, I didn't even know what the term dox meant. The Hollands quickly found others who say they're victims too, like Melanie's Ford of Atlanta. She says after she raised questions about Darius's tactics, his followers bombarded her too. I was um, reached out to, called all sorts of names. It was absolutely horrible. So. More drama equals more likes. He does this for likes, clicks, and engagement. The food fight has even reached other TV chefs. Sonny Anderson and Andrea Davis, known as the Kitchenista, have issued public condemnations of Williams and his doxing. This thing about doxing and cyberbullying is real, and it's hurtful, and it's hurting people. So what did the usually chatty Darius Williams finally have to say to us? I'm just, you can just go on record and say I'm declining to comment. That's it. Have a great day. Well, wait a minute. No. These people are upset because you've been putting no. their personal information online, Darius. Come on, I thought you liked being on television. 
Apparently not our channel. Well, Sonny Anderson is a Food Network personality who gave Williams his first break by featuring him on her show several years ago. I talked to Sonny by phone. She says she feels horrible about what's mm. happened and she has disavowed any uh, connection to him at all. Well, it's disturbing enough to see these people's personal information being spread all over the Internet. But the question is, is doxing illegal? No, it's it's not against the law, which makes you wonder if uh, the Hollands will get any satisfaction from that police report they filed mm. in Detroit uh, earlier this year. But let's face it, it may not be against the law, but it's creepy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, to post someone's personal information online, knowing that you have a lot of followers who are going to perhaps do something about it, is it's wrong and uh, it shouldn't be going on. Yeah, it's potentially dangerous. And yeah. those kids could, as well. We saw those kids pictures on his uh, website. That's and. what prompted the Hollands to call the cops. They were mm -hmm. just horrified about that. But again, as I said, doxing, at least on its surface, is not against the law. Yeah, pretty surprising. Yeah. yeah. Randy, thanks. Okay.